Hey, it's Jason again with Threefold Solutions. We're here talking about volunteers utilizing the Planning Center Services mobile app. Now, that's a pretty simple thing to get the app, but how do you actually use it? You can download it, you can take a look at it, but there may be functions and features that you're not aware of. And today I'd like to explain some of that to you and at least give you a better understanding of how you can utilize the Planning Center Services mobile app. If it's your first time or you've been using it for a while, hopefully you'll discover something helpful in this video. We love making these videos for people who use Planning Center. It's part of what we do here at Threefold Solutions. So if you wouldn't mind giving us a like on this video or even subscribe and check out all of our videos that we make on a regular basis for people who use Planning Center and want to use it a little bit deeper or better. And with that, let's jump into how to use Planning Center Services mobile app. Okay, let's take a look at the services mobile app and this time I'm going to show you around all the different ways you can respond and interact with your services mobile app schedule and let's just start with the front door here. This is my schedule. This is the first thing you're going to see. Now I'm assuming that you are able to download the planning center services app. So first things you will have to have before watching this video, as far as a prerequisite goes, make sure you've downloaded the planning center services mobile app. Now, once you've got it downloaded, you're going to have to log in with your username and password that you used while we were basically setting up the account previously. Now, once you're logged in, this is what you'll see when you enter and see open that app for the first time. So this is what we're seeing my schedule. And you'll notice a couple things here in the top right hand corner. We've got that little conversation balloon. So that's where the chat is located here. And when you click on that, you can participate in several different types of chats. As we've mentioned before, you have the opportunity to chat with your team. That's listed right here with the little green icon next to it. And it says team. You also have the opportunity to chat with any groups that you're a part of. So you also have a little orange icon there that's next to the group conversations or chats that might be happening. Now, in this particular instance, if I want to see what's going on in this chat, I'll move my I'll, I'll move this around several times just so you can see the screen better but you can obviously see this is the same conversation we were having and it was available on the desktop side of things but it's also available within the mobile app as well you've also got this little number two with a little arrow next to it and basically that's just leading you back so as we click on that it's letting you know that there are other conversations that you're a part of that may have messages waiting for you to read or respond to so I'm gonna close the chat by clicking on the little X in the right hand corner and just point out a few other things here that I think are useful. Number one, you've also got this little bell that tells you different types of notifications. You have a pending notification here and that's just letting you know that you might have an opportunity to serve. So we'll take a look at that in just a second. But you've also got received and sent uh, emails that you can review here. If you're a leader and you're somebody who's sending things based on scheduling, you can also see those here. So click on any of those to just do some exploring. But the other thing is obviously you have your profile and the ability to set some preferences here when you click on your picture or that icon in the top right hand corner. You'll see that the information here is just your email address, your name, your phone number. It's also going to let you know how many teams you might be participating on. So you can click on your teams and see all the different teams that you're a member of. Once again, you can set up block out dates here as well. And you can also send messages or receive messages here just like we saw before. Now, I also want to kind of show you that there are some things that are editable here. If you want to update some information, click on the edit and you can do an update. So that's just to help your leaders and make sure everybody can stay in touch with you. Click on that little X and let's go back to the main screen here. We do have one pending serve opportunity here. That's letting us know that the connections team weekend parking lot uh, opportunity is available. We can choose to accept or decline right here on the app. If I choose to accept all, I might have multiple notifications about multiple weeks coming up. But if I click on accept, you'll see that I have the ability now to actually look at the 9 a.m. service or the 11 a.m am service I can select both I can click accept and I can basically accept either one of these and I can also submit that 
And now I've basically been booked or I've scheduled myself for the Parking Lot Connections team, 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. on October 13th. So the other thing I want to point out here, let me move the picture up to the top here or the video, is that you can also see your block out dates. So if you've got some dates blocked out for vacation or otherwise, it's really, really clear here at the very bottom where you can see those block out dates. Now, just remember, you've got the opportunity here. Also, lots of places to add those block out dates. We've looked at several now. And this is another one. You can click on add block out dates here and you can choose the dates in which you will not be available to serve. Really, really helpful for your leaders and the people doing your scheduling. Okay, I'll click cancel here. We'll discard that and we'll go back to the main screen. That is using the services mobile app in a nutshell. And hopefully that explains how you can utilize that to keep things very succinct and also manage it on the go. So you don't always have to go to your desktop computer to see where you're serving or communicate with your leader. It's all right here in the palm of your hand when you utilize the, the mobile app for services.